Listen, boys. Lately, it hasn't been going so well. I've been on a real loose streak on these death battle reactions. I was I was up by like four or five wins, and now I'm one loss away from being decimated. Decimated. I am being held up by the failures. Of every person I've ever chosen in a death battle. But it ends today! Wow, I'm like Spider-Man. Oh, Lord. We're doing Saitama versus Popeye. Now, some would say, Ryan, well, this is a trap here. I know what you're going to do. You're going to vote on the anime man and not the little man who sucks on spinach. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm betting it all on this one. I need to get another victory. And if this doesn't get me a victory, I don't know what will. This will shatter, shatter me if Saitama doesn't beat Popeye. Don't you dare bring up commercials and bullshit with Popeye. Popeye is only beaten a fat guy. I need this, folks. I need this. I need this one. And also, I really love One Punch Man, so... I'm voting for Saitama. Death battle. Death battle. Death battle. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. And I have been betrayed by American cartoons since day one. Every time I pick someone outside of America, I have lost every time. I will be fucking fuming. Worse than Pokemon versus Digimon. This is a breaking point for me. I need those points. I need a useless credibility that only helps me sleep at night and nobody cares about it. You better do the right thing, Death Bell. Of course, folks like Jigga the Original Link, more original content creator, thanks for your description. Guys, if you couldn't tell, I, I was absolutely decimated by the fact that I lost again last time. And uh, I need a pick-me-up. And this is the pick-me-up. Also, I kind of want to see, because I actually am very curious why. Why did you connect these two? Is it because Popeye has beaten everyone in one punch? Oh god, that's why. Oh god, that's why. <laughs> I think so. I don't remember. Saitama, the one he doesn't have a beautiful man. face like Saitama. Guy, the sailor man. East versus West. Old versus new. Healthy eating versus basic exercise. <laughs> These two warriors may seem ridiculous, but their unassuming exteriors belie impossible strength. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. Did he beat and him in a one butt battle? And skills to find out who would win. I really gotta get closer battle. into the one punch man lore. Missing the good stuff. Life is pain. Brutal and short. The challenges we face during Thanks, man. I am crippling depression and I appreciate all those sentiments. Human. They light a fire in our soul. They make it all worth something. Without them, we are lost. Yeah, it's a little early in the day for an existential crisis. But <laughs> really, I came prepared for this failed salary. Man, <laughs> Me too, buddy. Took to get that fiery passion Me too. back was to save this <laughs> butt chin child from a crab monster in underwear. That was a sentence. This mm -hmm. man was Saitama, and he was going. That doesn't sell, sell you on the show. Hero. You just don't. So you don't. You're, you're not enjoying life. Pushing his body beyond its limits and shattering. You're too busy asking existential crises so like the beginning. Freaking hair fell out. Saitama's strength grew exponentially day by day, with the goal of becoming the greatest hero who ever lived. And much to his horror, that's exactly what he got. All it took was one punch. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> He became too strong. He became the one, the only, the infamous Kate Baldy. But anyone who's cool knows him as One Punch Man. As in, he can't help but beat almost every opponent he's faced. Also, I should mention that what makes One Punch Man beautiful and amazing, and I don't, I don't know if they'll actually bring this up, but it's the fact that he can beat anything, anyone, at any time, but at mediocre things, he gets decimated. Like, he'll be playing a video game, and he just loses instantly. And he sucks terribly at it. Or, my favorite of the entire arcs, the fact that there's a fly in his house, and no matter what he does, he can't kill the fly. <laughs> like, he'll do this giant shockwave, and the fly goes... I love that joke so much. I love it with every fiber of my being. 
every opponent he's faced. In oh my god, who's Starman and why have you done this? I feel like I'm gonna end up getting way pretty whacked out Way many spoilers. Like who's over a quarter of a kilometer tall and can stomp city-sized craters into the earth. Or an Esper who can effortlessly pull giant meteors from outer space. Or and is this close to showing me your asshole? From the Earth's surface Not until I find an age lady. I'm smarter than the average bear. So much as a sweat I'm a gay bear. Any of them. During their battle, mind. that same monster king absorbed this huge chunk of the Earth's core and fired it at Saitama. Who blocked it by squirt gunning some lava at it. <laughs> lava he was bathing in, naked, and then he punched him. Surprise. Saitama's created after images just by hopping side to side. Defeated the whole show is about trying to be as ridiculous as physically possible to make you laugh. Of space. After being kicked all the way to the moon and before jumping back to Earth in about 16 seconds. That's 8% the speed of light. Kind of like the time he blocked attacks from this alien dude who stated to move near light speed or punch so fast his fist starts to blue ship. You know what's crazy to me watching Saitama and them like analyzing all this stuff? The fact that Marvel does all of this stuff unironically. <laughs> Like, everything about Saitama and his character is saying, like, yeah, of course he is, because he's a bald guy. That's it. He's just a bald guy who's just strong because he is. And that's the joke. But then you watch, like, the reviews of, like, what Iron Man could do. Or, like, all of the, like, remember Batman's armor suit? And Saitama's existence is just taking the piss out of every character that takes themselves too seriously and, like, raises their attack power way too dang high human strength and speed with techniques like his devastating normal punch <laughs> and if he wants to amp it up the consecutive normal punches <laughs> those are his attack names what kind of self-respecting anime protagonist is he plain and simple he's one making fun of every Instead single of hero that has a name for a punch for no reason top, just because they have to name it already there Basically, imagine if Goku went Super Saiyan in his fight against Jackie Chun. Kind of sucks all the drama out of it, doesn't it? <laughs> and that's the point. Yep. Far from the power fantasy the genre is known for, Saitama's life became an existential nightmare. Without suitable conflict, the struggle that had heretofore defined him became meaningless. His new reality was inescapably boring. Which is really saying mm. something when he can decimate mountains without even hitting them. Or shatter asteroids that rank a 9 on the Torino scale. For those not in the Torino, that's equal to 1 trillion tons of DNT. This guy's training must have been insane. That would be... Why did they draw his chin like there's going to be a bunch of spiders coming out of it? This is scarier than anything he could possibly muster up. He could literally blow up a planet with one punch, and I'd still be thinking, oh, there, is there going to be a bug going to come out of there? If a single bug comes out of there, I'm fucking getting out of here, because that's really going to give me the chilly willies. I think I'm going to go live on that most rubble of broken planet that got destroyed, because uh, you know, I feel I have a better chance of not getting attacked by a single bug on his gym. It's really making me freaking, freaking me out, man. It's really freaking me out. It doesn't make sense because it's not allowed to make sense. Uh, to be fair though, yep. to someone who isn't already a trained soldier or athlete, keeping that workout routine every day for years is pretty much impossible. Well, 100 push-ups and sit-ups are technically doable, especially if you space them out. Doing 100 squats and then running half a marathon? every single day would absolutely destroy your leg. Put simply, effective workouts involve shredding muscle fibers at the micro level, mm. then allowing them time to repair themselves more durable than before. This repair it's almost like it's a joke and wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. <laughs> don't you dare say the reason he lost is because his muscles don't make sense. I will come and slap the shit out of you. Just ripping himself to shreds over and over and over. After a few days, he shouldn't even have been able to move, but he just... Kept going. There might be an explanation. Take the brilliant scientist Dr. Genus, whose half century of research into evolution Saitama erased in, well, one punch. According to Genus's hypothesis, <laughs> Saitama's training broke his limiter. Basically, every living thing on Earth has a limit to their natural abilities. At some point, no matter how bad they cool are, that's actually pretty cool idea. Plateau. Wait a minute, have I peaked? What if Saitama did steroids? The laws of nature and Is steroids technically already doing that limit breaking thing? World. 
He crushed the entire field of <laughs> evolutionary biology in the palm of his hand. And while he has stated that his strength did eventually stop growing, it's pretty clear he's never gotten close to showing it off in full. Such as when he fought the godlike alien conqueror, Lord Boros, and finally broke out his serious punch. A blow where he punches a little harder than normal. <laughs> and did Boros's collapse Which is also making fun of. See, that's an attack name. An energy blast that was going to blow up the friggin' planet. Making fun of, uh, the, you know, the trope like of them being like, the I didn't use my real power. Going off at once. Despite his obvious and overwhelming power, Saitama's accomplishments <laughs> were never officially recognized. As if no one in their right minds could believe a psych ward Charlie Brown could save the world. Well, he doesn't seem to mind. Almost as if and say psych ward. He's actually pretty normal. Conflict gave him a perspective on how tropey and contrived his world also, is. Also, Charlie Brown's ever thrown a punch. Who knows? Charlie Brown might be tropes, just as powerful. Who cares about how far up their own ass a supervillain is? When you can just chill at home with your buds and play video games. Yeah! That's the real lesson all along. Not to value our lives based on our accomplishments, but on the time we spend living and enjoying life's simple pleasures. I'll leave that to Saitama, and I can't and think of simple pleasures more of punching people and watching them so blow up. My name oh, Lord. Oh. Unbeatable. The dude is the undisputed king of broken enemies. I think his balls survived, too, so that guy's got to be pretty Saitama powerful. Finds his equal, he's going to end all his fights. <laughs> he's going to jizz and shoot through seven, seven buildings. Whoa, it just keeps going. Popeye the Sailor Man, oh, no. hero, adventurer, sailor. All right, that guy survived at least seven punches. I think I'm okay. He sounds like he smokes a pack of Marlboro Factory. Why is there a mime punching his butthole? Why? What did we do back then? Why did we find this fun? This is why he can't open his eye. Never mind. Popeye's origins are humble. Born to the cruelly named Poop Deck Pappy, Popeye was, <laughs> upon birth, horrifically ugly. So ugly, his father fled in embarrassment of his spawn <laughs> and never returned. So Popeye grew up I don't blame me, poopy po pants pan. Especially after discovering his higher calling, beating the snot out of people. <laughs> Don't worry, Popeye's are righteous. Only the snot of those who deserve it. Inspired this is the American dream, father, by the way. Whaler Joe, Popeye set out to put his combat prowess to the test and join the Navy, becoming a true sailor man. <laughs> I'm a cartoon character in real life. Let's get away from World me. World War II era racial stereotypes. I'm being non-specific, not just creativity. <laughs> But because there are so many examples. Originating in the era of rubber hose animation, Popeye's body is essentially made of, well, rubber. Able to stretch, twist, squish, and squash any way he likes. Oh or my rev up his god, he's Luffy? Planet. Popeye's punches are fascinating, since they can disincorporate their targets into composite elements, like turning anchors into fish. Oh my god, no! No, so you cannot beat Saitama with the power of cartoon! I think the reason's pretty no! Is you're gonna, cartoon, you're gonna you fucking rabbit me, aren't you? He can shoot fire from his corn uh, cup pipe, pull a canyon closed, punch bolts of lightning out of the air, and even give the sun a black eye. Judging by the distance the sun is from the earth, as well as the time it took for the high striker puck to reach it, the puck <laughs> must have been moving at 500 <laughs> times the speed of He didn't of kill the sun, though. He just pissed it off. Force, Popeye must have swung his fist just as fast. Saitama now, would pat the sun and it would disintegrate. Somehow occupied two places at once and hit himself. So, uh, was he just born this way? Is being ugly the secret to pulling insane bullshit superpowers out of your ass? <laughs> That's what both so, these shows have taught us, yes. Get on that, That's why I'm way more powerful than I ever should be. The secret to Popeye's immense physical strength is simply the virtue of nutrition. Oh, I knew you'd find a way to make it lame. Specifically, <laughs> Popeye has spent his life consuming a what miracle. All cartoons back in the day used to do. Oh, it's cartoons for Oh, God. racism. Spinach. Probably lame. Straight from the is a big vegetable. You'll never get me to eat my green salmon. <laughs> the animal flesh and green alcohol for me. Uh, <laughs> originating in Persia, Spinachia oleracea is a leafy green nutrient. Ah! Yeah, uh, so I was wondering, is it an assault if someone sprays their spinach juice on you? <sighs> Are you sure you can't? We can't take him to court? It's the most violated I've ever felt. And I've been to prison three times. Okay, four. Well, keep looking! What do I pay you for? 
Yes, I know I pay you in spinach, and it's ironic, all right? But your little kids love that spinach. He hung up on me. Death Pal, if you ever spritz me with uh, spinach ever again, I will come to your house, and I will tickle your foundation. Not you. Tickle the foundation of your building so it crumbles! A little bit. Just a smidge. Like 1% crumble where it just kind of goes... Boop. And then, like, in, uh, I would say, like, 50 years, you're just like, ah, dang it, we're going to have to hire someone to fix these walls. You better remember my name when you do that. Cancer and reduce blood pressure. And apparently, Thanks, man, that's great news. I'm glad to know that Popeye will never get cancer. Anime. While a normal can of spinach contains about 44 calories, <laughs> when used in Popeye's world, its effects are multiplied. Not only does it immediately increase Popeye's already impressive strength and speed even further, it makes him virtually impervious to harm. It lets him fly, turn invisible, shapeshift his body into literally anything, don't, don't, and even survive don't. the universe getting turned off. That's <laughs> right, this big whatever the hell that thing is is apparently God, and he turned what? off reality in order to kill Popeye and his friends. What? Why not? Except guess what? What is God wear Mickey Mouse pants? Because he eats his spinach. I wonder what its nutritional content is like. Well, let's find out. Oh God, With no! Matt. Don't do this. No! 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 no, no, no. A single can of spinach in Popeye's. I hate you. If you beat me because of math, so tall, I'm gonna snap your math fixing device. I don't know how you do math, but I'm fighting them and break it. By measuring the volume of this spinach oh stock goodness. and including the caloric density of regular spinach, we can calculate one single can of Popeye spinach contains over 46 undecillion calories. That's over 700 octillion times greater than the total calories the average person Wouldn't will that just kill him instantly? Life. That's over 46 million Yoda tons of TNT. Enough to destroy <laughs> Why is that not kill him? To punch your annoying How would that not so kill him? Land, what is his stomach made of? The earth. By measuring the angle of the planet after tilting, we can determine its I hate you, cartoons. Don't you do this to me. Don't you do this to me with second. stupid... That's no, I cannot be destroyed again by stupid what? cartoon logic. Oh, don't do this to me. No, what have I done? What have I done? Yeah, because that happened. I only know of one type of herb that'll take you through time. Whatever kind of spinach it is, it sure ain't normal. Not true. Oh, Popeye God. doesn't consume some special magical spinach. Any kind will do, even if it's handy. Also, can't we just say that Saitama world, could punch him faster true. than he could eat he spinach, therefore Saitama wins? For them, praying to God, right? Painting them into reality, or just waving his hands. The dude is oh my God, this is literally just that stupid rabbit movie with the hot lady, and I don't remember the full frame rainbow rabbit. That's the name of the movie. Nothing that's what this entire thing is. is nothing. I'm doomed. No, Ryan, don't give up hope yet. He can even punch so hard he tears Damn, the film strip he's being animated that's a nice on. Nice right there. Exit his cartoon to beat the shit out of his own anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta give him credit. The people who made Popeye are freaking geniuses when it comes to content. That is way ahead of its time. But he's always down for a scrap. So if you decide to antagonize him, be aware you're messing with one of Cartoon's all-time heavyweight champions. I'll give him and credit, like, for uh, your own like, sake, eat your fucking vegetables. Yeah, but if All everyone's right, like Popeye, does that just mean we're Dan just the Super Saiyan race? First, in case you're starting to feel those winter blues, check out BetterHelp. Did he bonk him with his head? And bonking him with his head made him twerk? Years and years and years before that craze ever came into be. <laughs> Something very funny about the thought of my mind breaking, listening to their ad for better help. <laughs> yeah, so Popeye broke my mind. I was trying to figure out something and I found out that Popeye designed twerking before anyone else did. And you're telling me this haunts you at night? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to sleep ever again. Don't worry, we'll help you. Oh shit! All right, please come on, Saitama. You got this, buddy. You got this. Oh, I oh, love this. Always so expensive. Wow! <laughs> Whoa! Good lord, this animation's awesome. Who did this? Please tell me who made this. Oh, 
Hold on. Okay, I got to pause this for a second. Who who made this animation? Because so far, it has been a couple seconds in, and so far, it's one of my favorite animation styles that I've ever seen. One, Popeye and Saitama look great. They look like they're actually from their art style. Two, the 3D animation of the world fits so stinking perfectly with the animation, which is so the opposite of Batman Iron Man, which, like, it was a jarring. This is really awesome. <laughs> Whose voice is that for Popeye? They sound so familiar. <laughs> what are you saying? How are you so powerful yet you seem like you're having a stroke every time you talk? I know, right? Overwhelming strength is so boring. Hmm, I can't read that. <laughs> Why? Huh? That's a catch. Just stop the spinach. If you just stop the spin if you just ate the spinach before he ate the spinach, he couldn't have the power. Okay. I'm glad to see that they literally just <laughs> took that rather cartoon. Oh, Saitama. Oh, actually, do you think this fight's gonna end in a draw? Did they just punch each other in the nuts at the same time? What's the consistency mathematically of his ball sack? But I've got a, you got a problem. The problem is they can't. Did he just knock him into an 8 bit? Oh! He's got the power of boat. Oh, Saitama, can you beat him in NES? Sure is one crazy I'm just a guy what does that a mean? Stop saying that. That could be a racial slur for all I know. I, I don't trust you in your era. And that's all what I am. Don't, oh, please. What I've, this is the second time. I'm now covered in spinach juice and ink. Why have you done this to me? That's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, uh -oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Come on. Yes, get him in there. Woo! Still so much time left. I'm in danger. Come on, Saitama. Huh? What is going on? <laughs> I feel like this is probably multiple animators. Either way, whoever did this, God dang. This might be the best like combination I have seen yet of death battle. And they did it for Popeye, which is hilarious. <laughs> hey, you know what actually gets him? Lung cancer. Wait, actually, would that uh, would that counter out? Is that why he'd spin it so the smoking won't kill him? just realized, Popeye, you're teaching kids that eating spinach and eating your vegetables good, but also smoking weed. <laughs> Wait, no. What did Pipe smoke? I don't think that was weed. Hey, buddy. Are you in my reality now, Saitama? That was cool. Can this be? Hey, have we actually... My beating so fast. My muscles ache. Have we ever talked to feel them again. Uh, <laughs> Like, Popeye. That's all I can could he breathe in space? No I don't think there was any rules against Popeye saying he could breathe in space. Other than he's a cartoon. I found it. <laughs> well, at least they're happy now. That's all that matters. Spinach mascot. Don't you fucking. Don't, don't you dare, don't you fucking dare, don't you! your whore mouth just 
press the space bar button and let it finish right. I'm a sailor man. I hope you die of lung cancer, you fuck. Hey, oh! Well, I guess you could say that fight was over easy. Wait, except isn't Saitama's whole gag that he can't lose? It is, but it's more nuanced than that. Despite breaking his limiter, Saitama's strength isn't limitless. He's said so himself. Breaking his limiter meant his potential strength was likely infinite, but there's nothing left in his world powerful enough to push him to get stronger, like a bodybuilder stuck with five-pound dumbbells. He also doesn't possess some magical ability to kill someone in one punch regardless of effort. Powerful adversaries like Boros and Garo have survived his blows repeatedly, albeit briefly, and he's never met anyone quite like Popeye the Sailor Man. According to the mangaka, One Punch Man's gag is that Saitama is an anime protagonist at the end of his series, slapped in at the beginning of his series, where he's too strong to have a challenge. So, if we know Saitama's strength or does Overlord. have- Damn it, right, you said you wouldn't do it! We know he can deflect Boros' planet-destroying blast, but he was clearly super casual about it. He may have called it his serious punch, I'm but that's listening. the joke. He's only I'm now getting kind of serious. In order to get as generous a number as possible, let's assume Saitama was exerting the least amount of effort he could to throw that punch. Since he's still technically a human, we can assume the ratio between the least amount of effort possible and the most is relatively consistent with other humans. Let's just say he burned the equivalent of only one calorie relative to the strongest punch ever recorded, which was over 1,000 joules. For reference, the average person burns about You know, you could just say that uh, absolutely nothing. So Popeye's a cartoon that can't actually lose. That would have worked too. You could have just said he used cartoon logic. Not really this, right? You, you really could have skipped the entire this bullshit. Saitama's theoretical strongest punch would be over 11 Yoda tons of TNT. That's absolutely insane. Enough to annihilate Uranus four times over. Well, that's impressive, but that's still far less huh. than Popeye's star busting power, which was millions of times greater. Sure, this is only an estimate. We don't know Saitama's full strength exactly. But the point is, whatever it may be, it can be measured. That's right, but trying to compare them with just numbers isn't the whole story. While Saitama can break his world fairly easily, it's still a semi-realistic world that generally obeys the laws of physics. Popeye and his world, on the other hand, can't really be measured at all. The dudes occupied two places at the same time, ripped the film strip he's animated on, and knocked out the guy drawing him. Can't do math to figure that out. Popeye's just on a whole other level of bullshit. Even if Saitama was So really, if Saitama Popeye was going to punch, beat him, the Popeye only way he could do it is through bullshit logic of cartoons. Recover, like an eraser. God That's how he could have beaten him. A fucking eraser. Like Doodle Bob side, style. There was nothing stopping Popeye from <sighs> Why do we even do Saitama these battles? I just realized how fucking pointless it is when you put characters that are so goddamn God damn weak, stupid. Still have a way to finish the job in one punch. Saitama was easily one of the strongest combatants we've ever seen, but pure strength was no match for Popeye's insane power, survivability, and plain old cartoon shenanigans. If you thought nothing could match the One Punch Man, now you know Popeye's spinach can. The winner. He fucking did a pun at the end. I broke my space bar. It's not it's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. I broke the space bar. That's how mad I was at that pun. Oh my god, you're fucking dead to me! I am fuming. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. What was even the point? What was the point? If the answer was just he's a cartoon, so he lives in cartoon logic. If we're using cartoon logic, that means it literally is just anything you want to do ever. But also, him losing can literally be anything you want to because it's cartoons. He beat him because he's cartoon main protagonist? That's why Popeye won in the end? Because if it wasn't the reason, when Saitama punched him without the spinach, he would be dead. But no, that's the reason. Also, you could argue Saitama smacks him... Does not get spinach. Saitama wins every time. Unless you're saying without the spinach, he could also beat him because he's a cartoon, which is fucking stupid. Oh, I disagree so highly with this one. The problem with Popeye is the fact that he has to get his spinach. And if he can't get his spinach, he's not that powerful. Also, I would have said draw material. Because the whole idea is both these guys are supposed to be unstoppably powerful. I'm so steamed that Popeye won. Mostly because now I have the same amount of losses as I do wins. I cannot believe this. 
I can't believe once again. I hate America. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Like, if you're going to do one where it's like cartoon versus non cartoon, and the answer literally is just he can't lose to the cartoon, that always to me feels so. Eh. I don't like it. I don't like Like, what's the point? What, what's the point of the entire death battle if really what it came down to is Saitama's in a realistic universe where realities, there's like rules set, and cartoons don't have any, so that if that's the case, literally, Mickey Mouse is immortal, cannot be stopped. Bugs Bunny is immortal, can't be stopped. If you put Bugs Bunny versus uh, uh, to Popeye, he couldn't lose because they're both cartoons and they can never die and they can always find a way around it. Even though Popeye exploded into a bunch of guts, his body part fell down. And even though he didn't have any blood in it, because what's the point of him having blood if he, if he can do anything because he's a cartoon? What was the point? What was the point? I'm sorry. That's so disappointing to me when it gets to that. Because then the death bell doesn't feel fun. It just feels stupid. Like they stretch something like the answer out for 20 minutes. When in reality, it should have took three fucking seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, the YouTube comments made me feel better. The number one comment is, Over 70 years later, and Popeye's still beating the Japanese. Anyways, alright, well I hated this one. <laughs> Sorry, that's the salt talking. I didn't actually hate this one. The, uh, the animation was like top tier. This is by far one of the best animations I've ever seen in my life. This was un- canny good animators give yourself a pat in the back because you have made a masterpiece and let's be honest i probably wouldn't be as salty if i didn't make some stupid rules of voting on which one i was i was so ahead i was so ahead i was like four ahead and then i started doing these regularly and now i'm i'm i've lost all of them i've lost all of them whatever I like it better when they try to make insanity out of reality and not just say reality doesn't exist in his universe. It just feels like the little kid at the playground that says, ha ha, you can't beat me because I say whatever happens, happens. It's main protagonist powers. Dumb. 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 Fuck you, death battle. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! The hate comments are coming. I can feel it, just like fucking Pokemon versus Digimon. Except that one was totally different. It's because they brutally murdered Ash. I was like, ah, angry fanboy. This is really fanboy. This is just I'm set that I lost another point. Kind of working myself into a shoot, you know. But then again, there's not very many Popeye fans, so I don't think I'm going to worry too much. I don't have to worry about the Popeye fan base. And if I make the Popeye fan base angry and they laugh at me, who cares if the Popeye fan base? Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment about the episode. What do you think about this? Do you think this was like a, a fair fight, a good fight, a good one? Like, animation-wise, I will not argue that... Like, all together, I think it's one of the best ones they've done just because of, like, animation. Like, the work they put into, like, the crafting of it, it's really cool. The logic behind it, I didn't like. I really didn't like it. I, I don't, I don't like cartoon versus non-cartoon and it just being, like, stupid. I still believe that Saitama punching him at the beginning is, to me the reason why I think he would have won because even though he is out of the rules of reality, he still has to eat the spinach. That's like his entire existence. And like, if he punched him before that and he blew up into a billion pieces, even though he had, he does do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but the force of the punch would be so astronomical that even like in his reality, if he punched him like that, if blood, if he was a splatter of blood, his body parts wouldn't just fall down. Where'd the blood come from if his body parts fell down? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. I I believe that Saitama should have won right there and then, and it shouldn't have been uh, the case. But whatever. Whatever. Who cares? I don't care, says the guy who lost another one. If I lose again, I'm never watching this again. <laughs> No, that's real salt. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.